She is an absolute beauty. Look at that sail. What a beautiful day. Sailing in Thailand's like this, then um, I'm all for it. Happy. Oh, it's from the ice machine. One of the peacocks gave it to me. Exciting. I'm doing this Vietnamese style. So what is that? It's condensed milk. What would that do? And sweetness and body to it. From our chest freezer. <laughs> well, that's a packet of frozen blueberries. Yay! You can have these ones now. I'm used to having stuff that we've never had before. Well, let's hope this doesn't explode. We have just had our first night on board Ruby Rose 2. Uh, we're all moved on and the place is still a bit of a mess but you know we're slowly figuring out where things live and what we need and yesterday we unpacked all the boxes that Nick had put on the boat and we also did our very first provisioning run which was like a lot and now it's smoothie time. Now it's smoothie time eh? <laughs> We can make like an acai bowl out of this. This is like the good, this is the correct consistency. A smoothie bowl. Right, well, as I enjoy my smoothie bowl in a cup, I want to get you up to speed on what's been happening. So we had two days of handover already. We had the, I guess the technical handover, is that what you call? First day, and then we had the actual sailing part of it. We had Mark from Doyle Sales um, come out with us, which was amazing. We put the main up, the jib up, and the screech up. Mark was able to do some fiddling and um, get everything nicely set up for us. The only thing we haven't done is fly the asymmetric. And Mark was all for flying it yesterday, but I feel the skipper was like, hmm, I'm not sure. I think that he felt it was a bit windy, but anyway, it's just as windy today, but we're gonna give it a crack. Also, there was an issue with the main halyard. What was the problem, babe? It was like, bunching up on one end and thought we fix it. Yeah, Bill's got a little bit on his plate today. And the other issue was something to do with the... The bracket that holds one of the master bolt alternators. There was a weld that fractured. Mm -hmm. The weld had to be to re-weld a bracket. So Bill's got a lot to do today. We've all got a lot to do. But um, yeah, so he needs to sort the halyard out and the alternator. We need to go out for a sail and fly the asymmetric and we need to mark the different reef points on the reefing lines and on the Halyard. Are we going to be able to do that on the Halyard as well? Yeah, yes. And then I think that the handover is done and we just continue with the process of moving on board. I don't know, Mark seems keen to fly a spinnaker today. <laughs> What's that? That's you seem keen to get a spinnaker up today. <laughs> the sail guy wants to fly a spinnaker. Okay. <laughs> I guess it was like zero to Coast Samui in four hours. Gently, very gently. Yeah, about a metre and a half. It's always a swing again. We good? Yeah. Does it, does it kick now you might stop? just want to stay still right now. Yeah. Just go still, totally still. Yep. And then we'll go into reverse and see which way the prop walk goes. I mean, it's quite pronounced. How nice is this weather? It's really hot in the marina, but once you get out on the water, it is so lovely. I think we're going to put the main up now. Yeah, they're actually pointing to windward. And I believe that Phil has actually swapped over the halyard um, and the reef, the reefing line. He's swapped those two lines over so that they, there's some issues with the halyard bunching up. It's kind of weird because of the way it was running and um, just there was some friction. I'm ready. She is an absolute beauty. Look at that sail. Glorious. Wow. What a beautiful day. Selling Thailand's like this, then um, I'm all for it. The feeling of being out on the water again and in our own boat, no less, was such a relief. We have the expertise of both Phil and Mark on board, and that was very, very reassuring, as we still felt pretty overwhelmed at handling this big boat on our own. However, even with four of us on board, we didn't see this crab pot in time and just ended up putting it between the holes. Another advantage of having the catamaran as we watched the crab pot pass underneath the bridge deck and into the distance. Absolutely amazing. 
God, it's hard to see. I think the sun is like making the water really grey, which is the same colour as the bloody crab pots. So they're just really. We're lucky we didn't that, get that one caught in our prop. Yeah, they're super hard to see. So it's one thing to mark the actual reaping loads themselves. Yeah. Then it's reasonably helpful, but what's most helpful is having a mark on the halyard. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, that's the one. So yeah. it'd be great if you watch the so you yeah. sit up there, that's the one we get attention that's oh, okay. to. And with Mark on the coach route, Phil, Teresa and I dropped the mainsail and pulled through the reefing lines one at a time. This is the reefing line, one we're going to use, yeah? So yeah. Stick it on the weed Here's the button. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, so I'm just watching the orange line at the back there with Mark. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. And I'm looking at the sail, I'm looking at the, the, the nut. Yep. And I'm waiting for Mark to say stop. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But yeah, the sail's just absolutely stunning. Oh my god, don't they look good? Even so good, reefed. even reefed. It's amazing, isn't it? And the boat sails beautifully. I know. When Mark was happy with the tension of the reefing lines, we then got out a white pen and marked the reefing points on both the main halyard and also the reefing lines. That gives us a lot of uh, confidence as any slack in the reefing lines causes rub and then shake. This, this isn't going to get stopped down in full, believe me, Friday when I can just not use reef 2. As long as it's just reef 2. Oh, yeah, it's not chafing right now, but... No, use the reef. Don't not use reef 2. Just um, reef 2 is your best one. Do you want to just put a bit of tape on it or something? Just to, uh... Do we know where it was chafing? Yeah, I'd probably say it was there. Oh, it's fine. Right. We'll have to just make sure that it's not in that place. I think that Mark's right that probably it, it was from in there. So that settled, we can move on to the asymmetric. I've got a bag. No, the clutch bag. Clutch. Oh, good morning. Thank you. Wow, nice style. Spot. I think if it's if it's downwind like this or off the wind, yeah, I think it is. I've literally set it up with autopilot controls. I've got everything in front of me. Yeah, nice. I kind of feels like cheap. Huh? I know. Wow, this is an extremely pleasant end to a really really lovely day. We are doing about seven knots and the true wind speed is 11.8 knots and the apparent wind speed is about 10. And the angle, apparent wind, apparent wind angle is 93. True wind angle is 123. How nice. Wow, if only sailing was always like this, right? I'm extremely happy. Today's been a very good day. Got the uh, asymmetric up, that was exciting. And yeah, we're flying the screecher at the moment. Got the main out fully, no reefs in the main. And you know, the sun's setting behind us, it's about 5.30 in the evening. We're just gonna come back into the marina now and have a well-earned beer and probably something yummy for dinner. Happy days. Woke up in our own bed this morning. That was nice. Had a coffee in our own lounge room, lounge room this morning. That was also very nice. So yeah, I'll tell you what, if sailing was always like this, then um, it would be easy, wouldn't it? I'm enjoying it while I can. Let's hope the trip down to Koh Samui is like this. I don't think it will be, but don't tell Nick. I've told him that the weather's gonna be like this. <laughs> yeah, what a big day, what a big, big day. I've got my farmer's tan. Yeah. Yeah, big day. All right, listen, thanks for watching, the girl's back. Spinnaker's up. Things are good. 
but I'm tired. And where are we going now? Beer. Beer. We're going to head to the pub. We're, go going, for beer. we're going to beer. We're going to beer. Thanks for watching. See you all next week. Take care. Goodbye. We've got two crew on board. Very, very excited to have them here. <laughs> wow, it's been quite the day. You're practically running the show at this point, so thank thanks, you. Nikki. Thank you. <laughs> well done, you made it through the day. Jesus. Well, the water tanks are zero. And nobody even lost their shit. I'm so proud. <laughs> uh, we have a small problem. So our uh, water maker, but it's not putting it into the tank. This is um, issue 995? Yeah, something like that. It's, I was just saying to Nikki, like, I feel like there's been a baptism of fire, like getting back into boat life. <laughs> That was f perfect. <laughs> that was f perfect, and you know it was wrong. Even you were like.